you were boot suited, suited, suited and, booted, and ready to, and ready to scooted. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> and boogie. <laughs> and boogie. There's something on top of there. There's a Garth Brooks song in there. Yeah. Uh, the boot scootin' boogie. Yeah, 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 exactly. I made boot scootin' koozies one time. They were pretty awesome. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. I'm a boot scootin' koozie. Oh uh, my. Welcome to the Beatitudes. If you're still with us, thanks for sticking through that high decibel shattering noise that Jeff just made there. Uh, my name is Paul Kolker. I'm joined, as always, by my co-host Jeff Scheffelbein. Clubbing it. And Nick Besner. Dubbing it. And this is the Beatitudes, a podcast for uh, Christian men seeking to grow in holiness, walking arm in arm with each other, encouraging each other along the way as we learn from each other and about each other, uh, and just enjoy some good, authentic fraternity. So... Um, welcome back to the podcast. If you enjoyed Monday's episode, um, that one was deep and intense, and so this one might be a little lighter here. At least I'm led to believe. Purple Cobras. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, you might notice the, uh, the little bit of a costume change here because, well, Mr. John Coons is back with us, and he- Ooh. Yes, sir. Uh, the he's most stylish we've ever had. He's incredibly fashionable here. Aww. So we're I know just... this is weird, but will you stand up? Oh, boy. <laughs> like, uh, while you stand up, you, you don't have a mic, so I'm just going to talk about you. All right. What we have here in the uh, jeans area no, a crazy is a bunch of stuff. Oh, he's got his mic. But the jeans oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the bell buckle is... Intentional holes that are then yeah. patched with... Well, I bought them with paisley... intentional holes. And then this had... So this is the... Uh, paisley um, kerchief. I'm going to have to look up this artist at some point. You bought the patches? I made the patches. Of course, and you I made did the them. sewing what? of the things. So, yeah. Self stitch. Yeah, therapy, man. Wait, yeah, I did. Are wow. you sure you didn't go to Steubenville? Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> this, <laughs> you can't even see the shoes. The shoes are like dress shoes for well, the we're first gonna two inches. Oh my gosh! Change and that. Then they rose gold inlaid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is next level. <laughs> Wait, what? No, you're about to tear it's down not. the studio, Jeff. <laughs> it was bound to happen at some point, though. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah, but um, yeah. So just the absolute uh, fashion sense here that clearly none of the rest of us have, based on our eight dollar polos that <laughs> we're wearing. Your belt buckle looks like it's from the eighties. Uh, almost. Yeah. I've had this one forever. Yeah, it just worked. I was guess destined to be a Texan. I guess destined to be a Texan mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the tigers. Yeah, belt yeah the lions got lions, lions going at it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I started doing the the art thing. Um, I mean, I, I did art when I was a kid. I've always liked it, and then. Um, um, actually when, when the baby was born, you know, nine months ago, uh, I started painting shoes, you know, so I, I, I don't know where it came from. What? Yeah. <laughs> I started. You made these? No, 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 no. Okay. My, my, <laughs> the baby shoes. I get like oh. a white pair of shoes. Oh. And I'm like, Hey, let's do a <laughs> yes. thing. That's great. Like, you, yeah. That you, looks incredible. Yeah, no, these, these are amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you started painting shoes. Yeah. For, for the kids. I started polishing paintings. Get out of town. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Polishing. 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 Nice. Polishing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I did tell Ambrose we got him a brand new bike because all I do is spray paint the bike. He doesn't like it anymore. Percent. I love doing that. That's actually kind of where it came from. My, um, so my now eight-year-old, she was really upset about her pink cowgirl boots because mm. they're for little girls. Of course, apparently eight, you're not a little girl anymore. No. And they're like, they're legit. They're nice. They're expensive. And I was like, we're not just getting rid of them. So I stole them. And I did a thing on him <laughs> and gave him back. She was really excited about it. And then, uh, yeah, my, my, my wife is amazing, as we said, Rose. And she just started all of a sudden, like, crafting art supplies. Not not crafting, just paints. But and she's paint like brushes. you. I've seen her. She dresses no, she's, big she's and bold. She's amazing. Yeah, she has a degree in fashion. Yeah. Um, wow. She, she, she made her wedding dress, and it's the wedding dress that doesn't look like the homeschool. I made my wedding dress. Like, it was, you know, a stunning knockout type thing. She's in incredibly talented so yeah. um so she started like you know just leaving stuff for me to work on and so all of a sudden i've got all these paint sets and stuff to paint and so that was kind of where i therapied i guess i just sit and instead of you know just watching a show to relax or whatever else people do to relax i just started kind of doing so, so i literally pulled um one of my kids binders out of the trash that had this wave that i i'll have to learn the name of the artist at some point you know the japanese wave and i decided uh, oh, I, yeah, so i yeah, cut yeah. it up and yeah, it's the tsunami painting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gosh, what is that guy's name? But, so uh, yeah. in, in the show notes, Chris, yeah. is it Chris so in the comments? Is, is that what it was? Yeah, Chris, Chris in the Chris comments. In the comments. He'll, he'll look that yeah. up. I'm us. having to look past Paul to see your pants. <laughs> so I stitched, <laughs> yeah, so I filled in all the holes and uh, stitched them up, and there we go. You did the stitching? Yeah. 
Oh my goodness! So, yeah. Unbelievable. And then this, this. So, and my brother, um, someone like me, unfashioned, would be like, "Where do you even buy pants like that?" Answer: You don't. You, you make them. Well, I mean, or, or we just, you know, start an Etsy page, and you know, we all retire on. But my, I, you know, just go arthritic from the. It's hard. It's oh, hard bad. to do. It's yeah. hard to do. Mm. So yeah, and then um. Yeah, and then I got into the suit. I've always been a clothes hound uh, since I was a little kid. I had my mom make me a cummerbund for May crowning in second grade. Amazing. And, of yeah, course. Because um, that's what you do. Um, I, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, when I did it. It was a good time. <laughs> it was a good time. And so, yeah, so when I finally got into business, and I remember when I started being able to buy suits mm-hmm. and then to have somebody. And, so, and then just kind of we were talking before on the about, about my little Jack. Whoa. This is my um, – I always thought of Tiny Tim. Um and, so uh, what does it say? It says as good as gold. So this is my Jack Jack suit. Good. Uh, put there in the lining there. Um, and so yeah, so I wear that with that guy. So wow. Yeah. And Wait. You got, you got two lapel pins. One very obvious. The so, second. Yeah. So the f- one is just the you know the infant feet, and this is just uh, some funky that my wife found for me that I love, and it's just cool. Yeah. Open the jacket again because the yeah. cameras were rotating. Look Uh-oh. at this thing. Look at this thing. So yeah. So. Yes. And then right in there. So it's got my name in it, which, you know, isn't that unique, I suppose. Although it's my name. So it's more unique than <laughs> if it was <laughs> Jeff's name in my. In my. Watch but, out. But then, um, yeah, I was always kind of blown away doing the Christmas Carol because of the season. Um, it was my dad's one of the favorite movies. We had to watch it and it could only be George C. Scott. Everything else was trash. Yep. <laughs> that was Christmas <laughs> in our house growing up. And so um, the whole idea of during the, the vision of the with a ghost of tiny Tim at church on Christmas day. And, uh, and just his what, you know, the Mrs. Cratchit asked how he was. And, and Bob says he was as good as gold or better. And how amazing mm-hmm. he said it was that he hoped people saw that he was there and a cripple. So they'd be reminded on Christmas who it was that made the lame walk and the blind see. And I was like, yeah. well, that's, that's my guy. Yeah. So, um, I, I, I got a set of suits, uh, in Texas and I've got the don't California, my Texas <laughs> in one. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got my clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Yes. I, lights. I got that one, God. and then I got my as good as gold. You so. got here as soon as you could. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank God. Thank God. And let's keep going on this for a second. What does it say on your sleeve? So this is my nickname, Kunzington. Kunzington. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my um, on, on account of the way you dress? Uh, uh, well, so this was, we did, uh, did kind of a film. We actually helped my buddy propose um, by, instead of sending a mixed tape, we made the most epic music video. <laughs> and we shot it all around Rome, so we did like straight guerrilla filmmaking, where you know we go into the Pantheon like at night and Piazza Navona at the fountains at night, and Trevi when it's empty, so it looked like we had it all shut down. And he <laughs> lip synced to um, "You Two Do an Unchained Melody," and then we cut the whole thing together. But of course, if you're going to make a video, you got to do behind the scenes. Oh yeah. And so I was in there as the director, and sure. they called me. One of my buddies came up with Kunzington, so it's on everything <laughs> I have now. Did the did so. the Carabinieri try to ever shut you guys down? No, it looked like it was going to be hairy. We actually have some of them in video, so we actually you know cropped that out to make sure we wouldn't get deported because <laughs> none of us had visas at that point. So, um, <laughs> really rolling the dice. Oh my there. gosh, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. So that's where that came from. And then these, my wife got me these. These are my Jack of Hearts cufflinks. Uh, for Jack, Jack. Yeah. That's so, awesome. Yeah. If you, if you miss the Monday episode, please go back and listen to it. It is an incredible story. Yeah, I mean, we're you have like tributes to like many different facets of your life, including yeah. uh, your sweet Saint Jack, yeah. Jack, Jack, your little boy, and then I got to imagine you get stopped all the time with people asking about the shoes, the pants. Come on, uh, once in a while. I mean, it's mostly um, it, it's not that much. I mean, I honestly, a lot of my business that I do is out in East Texas, so I have my like my my, <laughs> my Canton tuxedo, which yeah. is blue jeans and boots yeah. with uh, a yeah. polo. <laughs> Um, so, but it's, so you can trade days. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But it's funny, even like coming out here, um, just, you know, the uh, amazing kiss you get from your wife when you look good, but also you feel good, you know, when you get to, yeah. when you get to put it all together and, um, it's a confidence boost and like, there'll be days I'll be coming downstairs, like, especially if you're suited and booted and ready to go. And my wife will just look up like, Oh, Oh, you know you look good today, don't you? And and, and it's I not, love Rose. And the swagger is just it just built in, and so um, it's it's. I put on my shepherd's jacket. And my wife's like, "You're looking good today, mm-hmm. baby." I feel yeah. like you nailed your like whatever the thing you're supposed to color yourself. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you're supposed yeah, to yeah, whatever yeah. your color. Yeah, that jacket's sweet, dude. Hey, scooted. You were boot suited, suited, suited and, and ready to, and yeah. ready to scooted. <laughs> 
twice. <laughs> and boogie. <laughs> and boogie. There's something on top of that. There's a Garth Brooks song in there. Yeah. Uh, the boot scoot and boogie. Yeah, 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 exactly. I made boot scoot and koozies one time. They were pretty awesome. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. I like to. I'm a boot scoot and koozie. Oh go. my uh, goodness. Is this your first time to say that? Uh, ever. Probably. Every well, day I'm today. shuffled at by. Today. At least today. <laughs> oh, nah. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. No, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't read my, can't read my, no, you can't read my Colker face. <laughs> we'll give you the business. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I want to take my, yeah, I'm going to have to redo the point structure that we did I there's this, I go there's back this to old, Monday's game. Yeah, and say, yeah. There's this old NFL um, clip where it's like, yeah, 15-yard penalty. Uh, he was down there. He was, he was giving him the business. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Why not? That was like a mind meld of people just announcing stuff about themselves. <laughs> song song adaptation. You may though. say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm just a shuffle by. <laughs> I can do this all day. There's another segment though, right? Yeah, no, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, that is for our older demographic. <laughs> yeah, the Beatles. <laughs> or, or just, you know, COVID and when the world ends, all we can do is sing that song, that's, right? That's how yeah, we, that's we, right. That's how we survive. Yeah. yeah. We're going to get flagged on every episode. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> Case the AI boss turned it into COMID or something. Yeah. We could try something. Yeah. Um, man, I don't know where to go with fashion, except for I want to say this. You do seek it because one day you walked in me and started grabbing my shirt. You're oh, like, for sure. What is this? Well, I mean, I, I was, I love nerd things. Mm. Right? I mean, that was kind of how I didn't know it at the time. But when my wife dragged, well, she was my fiance at the time, dragged me to Comic Con, and I was like, "There's no, not <laughs> happening." And and then of course because she has her fashion degrees and loves costuming and all things that have to go with it, informed me that we would be wearing not our normal clothes to mm. go to this event as well. What? Um, but of course, if you don't. You stick out you like terrible. you look horrible, <laughs> yeah. and so I, I came up with the most simple Guy thing I could think polo of: and boots and jeans, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, or or you're a gazillionaire who's starring in something. It doesn't yeah. have to be in costume at that right, point. Right. So yeah, that's fair. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've always left things a little bit subtle, and so um, God, is there like a sock company that makes cool things? Gosh, yeah, there, there I might think be. so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, sockerlogist.com. So, so, <laughs> yeah, and, and I didn't just steal this from from the previous episode that I was on, but um, <laughs> I got this for my birthday because my wife's awesome. And um, it's a nice polo from Catholic Concepts. The same. Hey, people. there it is, Catholic Concepts. And yep. of course, it's a medium. I'm not a I'm not a large. I don't need fat people. Gross. <laughs> I got and a I'm small not of yeah, the exact same I shirt. I figured. I figured. <laughs> You, yeah, <laughs> you did that on purpose for the sleeves. No, but no, it doesn't matter. It, 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 it's legit. You, I, I've never looked this good. The cut and, of those sleeves. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You see what? It, it, uh, there's People. other t-shirt companies that do the things to make you look like you're not oh, fat. Oh yeah. Yeah. Way better. Wow. Um, Every awesome. time I put this on, people stop me to open jars or maybe uh, lift cars off of people. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. they're like, "This guy's gigantic." Hey, <laughs> our our garage, our parking garage fell down. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with that is I take my shirt off when I run into ah. big time danger. That's mm-hmm. right. I go medium, shirtless. Medium danger. <laughs> yeah, right? you just need a Catholic context. <laughs> yeah. I'll keep the biceps inside the shirt for medium danger. Oh, <laughs> uh, Chris, please, please quote that in the comments. Uh, we need that to uh, show up again. Uh, so do we get to meet Chris? Does Chris hang out? We know. We know. He Chris. comes and goes. Oh, yeah. You know, like cool. uh, there's been times where we're recording and Chris shows up. <laughs> like, dude, that's not how the comment section works. <laughs> <laughs> he does live emojis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, he will. He will show up in the comment section of life. Love yes. it. Love it. Yeah. Um. All right. What's next on the fashion <laughs> journey of? Kunzington. Wait, wait, but real wait. quick, yes, I, I just I have to ask because yeah, you said Comic Con. Mm. So oh, what yeah. did y'all dress oh, as? Yeah. So uh, for that first trip, she went as Mara Jade, kind of pulling out of those things. And I yes, the Star Wars extended universe. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I wanted to keep, as I said, as simple as possible. So I cut off sleeves off of a T-shirt, had a pair of cargo pants because we had those twenty years ago and it was okay. <laughs> and I had a Yoda mm. backpack. And so I just did Luke on Dagobah. Nice. Um, with, of course, I did have a prop lightsaber because we're awesome. So I brought that sure. along. But I was like, it was the most comfortable I could be without doing anything and mm-hmm. still be amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so we, that was the first year. And then after that, we knew that we could also just, like, wear a shirt that matched. But we brought a baby uh, to one, and uh, we had a, like, those old British prams. Mm-hmm. Because, again, yep. awesome wife. And uh, she turned it into the TARDIS. 
And so we put, we put little Frankie in like a little bow tie, and he from, was from Doctor Who. From Doctor yeah. Who, yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. So, oh my amazing. gosh, yeah. that is wild. Yeah, it's the best. And they, they became a client too, which was great. So uh, we got to like, Doctor always, Who's a client. Uh, well, the the artist formerly known as Comic Con. Um, awesome. So to go, wow. to go, to go, that was one of the perks of. What? Of living in in communism, no, okay. Near the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My niece had a Make a Wish come true, and they did a mm-hmm. Doctor Who experience. They flew over to England for Doctor wow. Who. Wow. Yeah. Well, wow. it, it would have been then because mm-hmm. it's not anymore. But yeah. Well, um, okay. So I I have a legit cosplay um, costume for Hawkeye. Okay. Because I get told I look like Jeremy Renner. Nice. All the so you time. like get run over by tr- cars on a regular basis too. Correct. Nice. <laughs> No, I don't got a bow. Isn't that bow like too soon? Isn't it? I don't think no, he's back to work. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's good. Yeah, he's Burn good. him over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, It was it was a snow plow. And he was a hero, so it's cool. Yeah, he saved his nephew. I think is yeah. what it was. So yeah, it's awesome. It's pretty yeah. legit. Yeah. Um, we'll let you be on the but like. Do, do you wear that on Tuesdays, day, Jeremy? Um, not not every not every <laughs> Tuesday. Uh, but, <laughs> but I have worn it for like the last three Halloweens because I want sure. to get my money's worth. Oh, 100 percent. Also, you have to. Yeah, but so he gets more candy that way. <laughs> well, I'm usually pointing the bow and arrow. Wow, at you look. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You it's look so much like him. I'm giving treat. you the big candy. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I would love to find out more about this Comic Con and how uh, how I can show up. That's all. Oh well, that so that the one is in San Diego. Oh, but that's there's, right. But there's fan expos here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some legit. Dallas is actually pretty high on the list. After like, I think it's L.A. New York. It's it's got some pretty serious um, nerddom. Okay. So yeah, good absolutely. to know. I absolutely. like on my drive home. I pass the Toyota Music Center, and sometimes when I pass and there's crowds, and I'm looking at what they're wearing, I'm like, I gotta look up what is inside of the Toyota Music <laughs> Center. <laughs> Everybody's dressed up like cats from outer space. Like, what is well, going on? Well, they were playing night two at Lollapalooza, so that that would actually make a lot more sense. Cats from outer space. Yeah, they're great. They're great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, they're serious. Okay, but also, uh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but usually, um. No, but there's yeah we we saw Weezer there. Uh, that's a great little spot to catch a show, for sure. You just just park next time and go. Just park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With that headband, you'll obviously get in. Who knows what I'd be wearing? Because we, a lot of times I leave there after we record here, and we're always putting on different thingy majingies, costumery. Yeah. yeah, take Hawkeye uh, and you're good. Ascots and whatnots. And whatnots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Advice for the youngster who wants to be cool and out of their shell, but they keep dressing like they're going to trade days in Canton. How can somebody get started on this pathway? <laughs> what's a what's a uh, gateway clothing? <laughs> a gateway. Okay, well, I I love the fact that my kids are as weird as we are. Mm. Um, I know it's tough going through middle school like they are right now because they are. They own themselves and their uniqueness so much, but I know they pay the price for it too because they're they're kind and loving, which is I don't know where they get that from. But they're also like, especially my oldest, he is so uniquely awesome with himself, yeah. being who he is. And there's sometimes you're just like, dude, you need to chill, and then you realize, no, just yeah, you do you, man. Do you and so lean into just it. lean into it. That's the thing. Like it's um, we're all different, we're all unique, and. There's nothing more counterculture than, you know, I mean, that is rock and roll, right, at the very heart of right it. On. So, um, mm. you know, again, at, as, a, as a kid of the 80s, um, you know, there's nothing cooler than, you know, go against the current, right? That was the mantra of our guy uh, growing up. And so, um, so just do that. Just be you. Well, and there's nothing more against the current these days than being faithful. No question. <laughs> no question. I mean, it, it's. I, I saw this actually happen with with my 12 year old. Go. She went through the Swifty phase, mm. and it was it was fine. Like her brothers teased her mercilessly, and it was <laughs> that was bad. But it was funny watching her lean into this culture thing. That I mean, she, I think she enjoyed pop music, and that was fine. But sure. then, of course, there was everything that went with it, and all of a sudden. I mean, she she's hilariously modest, especially for a 12 year old, which I love. It's beautiful. But then you see like all of her friends are showing up to school in short shorts and short skirts. And it's like, that's not. And she's like, that's kind of weird. Yeah. And I remember she had a friend over from church one day and she wanted to show her this Taylor Swift concert. And I could tell her friend was kind of not not vibing on it. And I, was, I had a quick talk with her. I was like, Nora, you know, you don't have to do this because your friends are. And I don't think that she that's her thing. Also, and she's like, yeah, okay. And then all of a sudden realizing, and it's been so amazing awesome. to watch her separate from that group. Naturally. 
naturally and 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 they they've spent the last five years in school to, uh, three years in school together and they were really tight and there was just this separation that happened and now her friends are these like individually thinking solid and not to say that that whole part of it's bad or anything but she kind of leaned like we use the phrase leaned in but she really embraced that she's her own 12 year old and she's awesome with it and yeah. so it's it's amazing so it was maybe more on the superficial side for a while there 100 uh, it yeah. could have been i mean they, they seem to be close I, but yeah. life happens you know no no but, and i'm and i'm not saying that there wasn't anything authentic in there i'm just saying that there's probably more of like hey we we all like this thing it's mm. easy, yeah and it's easy to it's easy to be close when you're little because there's not things that Pull you apart. Separate. <laughs> yeah, middle school's brutal. I don't. Yeah. I would never want to do that again. No. Yeah. So, yeah. why does middle school start in third grade now? Because yeah. that's no what I'm experiencing. Kidding. <laughs> no, because no okay, no. our kids are like that. They're complete, unique, mm-hmm. out there. Paul can. Paul and Nick can both attest yeah. to this. <laughs> I mean, we take family photos with a professional photographer, and my girls put on dresses and rollerblades. Oh yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah. to go out in a field mm-hmm. where you can't. Where possibly... else would you wear rollerblades <laughs> with your dress, Jeff? <laughs> So, uh, but at the same time, they have like that separation mm-hmm. thing already happening, and there's mm-hmm. a lot of drama. But you know what? Pop music can be pretty catchy, but don't don't go with the rest of it. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I just you love them finding you. that. You be yeah. you. Do you, man? All right. Well, we will do us. Um, yep. Uh, the Beatitudes. A- a lucid private office. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's like a TARDIS, and you're right, way bigger than it looks. It's massive in here. Oh, yeah, right? Massive. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we're just sitting this close because we can. The conspiracy <laughs> that happens up here that people think that we're in this massive studio, they call it the fifth floor of Dallas. Mm. Um, it's like other conspiracies, just a floor lower. Right. <laughs> do, I don't know. Do you get that? I don't get that part. I, I, I do, but I don't want to explain it. So <laughs> let's just wrap this episode Too up. Too soon with Jay. <laughs> Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We, we don't need to get dinged on YouTube either. COVID. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even say vaccine or anything. No. No. <laughs> to find out more about that's, yeah. that's where we're going to get stamped yeah. at the bottom of this. Yeah. And thanks. if I said JFK, they'd be like, for proper election results, please see <laughs> your local <laughs> CNN no, okay. affiliate. <laughs> uh, you're, you're just, you're wow, just asking for you it. Are, now. We are going. If we get seven views, it'll be a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were going hard in the I paint. was hoping for 17. So. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Well, just on this one, yeah, yeah, the right. other one will be fine. Oh, your yeah. other one is probably going to be uh, one that I actually send to people nonstop. Like, oh, dude. They'll be yeah. like, your show's really For funny. Sure. And I'm like, it is. And mm-hmm. it'll hit you right in the heartstrings. Yeah. The jack of hearts. I don't even know what it's going to look like. That's the part that's crazy. So. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen the show? Or you just listen. Uh, I do both, actually. De- um, you do both I, on every episode? No. no. <laughs> so you watch it simultaneously. So, so I know where you Don't live. watch it on mute. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I prefer a video episode of whatever podcast I listen mm-hmm. to. Um, uh, one, as much as you may be an amazing expert at any of this thing, the fact that we're all sitting here, the conversation is different, period. Amen. And so, um, yeah. but also... <laughs> when especially when it's fun, it's good to see what's happening. Yeah. Um, or if it's chaotic, it's better. Like watching some of the stuff at the Eucharistic con- conference. If you're not watching that, <laughs> that's you know, a weird episode. You're just, to you're to. missing out too. Like yeah. Father Edwin has Mexican food, and that's cool. Like <laughs> how I don't I don't know that he does. I don't know. Maybe. Um, but it's I always find it better to watch it. And also um, just on the technology piece, it's easier to minimize the screen. So yeah. uh, I do it my baseball games. Watch every day. I, I'll. I'll Put the um, even if I'm listening to it, I'll put the video feed on. Yeah. yeah. So I just like it better. Yeah, because visual and stuff. I had somebody the other day say, "So y'all took your microphones and walked around a conference?" And I'm like, "No, we sat there and everybody walked by us, but they yeah. couldn't visualize <laughs> right. yeah. how this was like happening Working. where we would talk right. to all these people." So well, Paul, right. also, and just I have to burst the bubble. The camera makes you look like you're six feet tall when you're sitting down, and so I, I was thinking, like, I'm gonna be the short dude when I'm there and everything, and it's gonna be I'm gonna be nervous. Nope, nope. nope. I am the six. Yeah. six. Yeah. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I mean six four at least. Well, also thank if you, you look what I do, it's in the contract that I'm supposed to hunker over for Paul. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I re- I really lean into the mic. Also, and, not and a I primer. Yeah. Sit up awkwardly straight. So yeah. Just, I'm not good at that, so I just know that I'll look fat otherwise. So his, you know, his baton is not even touching the uh, it's chair. My, it's my lorso. <laughs> his lorso. <laughs> yes. All right, with that, um, any uh, fashion tips for the lorso? Nah, okay, just, thanks. Okay. Cumber, <laughs> cummerbund. <laughs> cummerbund. And yeah. put, a, put a picture of Benedict on there. You got a Bener- Benedict cummerbund. Mm. <laughs> Cover your bum. Cum- Cumberbatch? Is a yeah, yeah, no, I was with you, but yeah, okay. but it, was, it was the... This yeah. show is full of stretches, including <laughs> these stretchy shirts we bought on a 
Chinese website Alibaba. for eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> the bowling team is going to be extraordinary. What's interesting is I really like this shirt, and I'm pretty sure my identity is being used all over the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> but good, good job saving 12 bucks. I did it yeah, for, for the Beatitudes. Understood. Yeah. John, you've blessed us in a huge way oh, with amazing. humor and holiness and uh, all sorts of other stuff. I can't wait to uh, visit Jack-Jack with you. If you haven't heard that one, please go back, yeah. watch the other episode. It's way incredible. Um, and to the to the bowling league here of the Beatitudes, mm-hmm. that's also a podcast. Um, so I'm much more. Just grateful to be here with you guys. Amen. We're going to finish with uh, four words that are um, all extremely positive, unique, and are going to make you smile, starting with Paul is going to say one. Splendiferous. And then we got John. Fantabulous. The bestest. Beatitudes. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you uh, in the next episode. (laughs) And for the rest of you, we will (laughs) see you in the Eucharist. God bless. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to join us at our undersized table, subscribe to the video version of the show on YouTube by typing at, that's the symbol at, so shift and two on your keyboard, at the underscore Beatitudes on YouTube. We'll see you there.